this video we will learn how to create this text based wallpaper as you can see we already have a completed version here so let's get started we'll be creating this from scratch let's open a new document for this I'll use 800 for the width and 600 pixels for the height and let the background be set to black let's cre create I'll be using the same text which I've used here since it's a long paragraph of the same text for example in this video it's written Photoshop video tutorials let's center this let's minimize this one but to center this text since we it's, since it's really long let's it's about let's zoom back here using a control a make sure you have the select the layer selected the text layer press control a the shortcut key to select the document once you have that done using these align tools tools let's align this text in between once you have done that let's zoom in using a space bar you get your hand tool to move around the document once that's adjusted let's rasterize this text by right clicking on this and clicking on rasterize type the other way this is the shorter shortest way so the other way is by creating a new layer below an empty layer and merging this with the empty layer below it rasterizes it up so that you can't edit this text again let's open up the blending options of this layer let's go to this FX and click on blending options once you have that let's select the gradient overlay and we'll be using a radial for this let's reverse that since we want the center point bright and the surrounding area faded and we don't want a, a white color here so let's make this somewhere around a dark gray this side is fine once you have that let's adjust this a bit more Let, let's make this part a bit more darker so let's reduce the scale once you have something what you're looking for let's press on ok let's create another layer and actually there is no need to create another layer since we are using the text so let's create click on the text tool here which automatically creates a new layer I'll be using impact for this for this text so the standard impact font and let's increase the size to around 150 pixels point and let's type in PSD let's give some space in between here with the same layer selected let's click on this icon here which opens up the options for the text and let's give in some more space yeah minus 10 is okay once you have that let's add another text let's type in tutorials once that's done let's add some effects to these texts here let's add some blending options Cl double click on the side of this layer here which opens up this style and we'll add some gradient here using the gradient I'll create make a dark red for this and we'll add an outer glow make the blending mode to normal and let's change the color to black and let's adjust this a bit 50% increase the size we have to 15 pixels and once you've done that press on ok let's copy the same blending options to the same to the tutorials text to do that let's hold the alt key and roll over your FX icon here just drag this straight above your te tutorials text so that you can see it's copying the blending options totally to the new text layer here and once you've done that release that let's edit this and change the color open up your styles palette again and in the gradient overlay let's change this to orange that's fine press on ok once you've done that let's turn both of these texts in a different direction so with this layer selected using the shortcut key open up your transform tool which is control T or you could go to edit free transform and let's change the angle to minus 40 degrees so we have 
a different angle here apply that let's actually turn the background also to uh, minus 40 degrees with this layer selected make sure you have this layer selected press on control T which selects that and then let's change the direction to minus 40 as you can see backside it's changed click on the checkbox once you have that I think the radial is off a bit let's adjust that radial go back to gradient let's reduce the scale here a bit make it up to 45 percent once you have done that let's turn the angle for the tutorials text control T for the shortcut once you open up the pre-transform for this tutorials change the angle to minus 40 degree as well press on the enter enter key ok let's adjust this a bit let's reduce th the font of this tutorials a bit let's you could go on the drop down menu here to reduce or you could simply roll over this icon here and you see a two arrow sided here you click and drag straight to your left which reduces the size let's reduce this a bit more once you've done that let's go back to your PSD and let's adjust this here let's bring this right over here that's okay once you've done that let's create a new layer and we'll add some shading to the down of these texts let's zoom in here and control using your control click on this icon here of the PSD which you can see it shows in a dotted square which selects the text once you've done that let's select the gradient tool and add a white to transparent at the bottom of this text here using the gradient white transparent make sure your foreground and background is set to black and white or you could press the D shortcut which sets it to default once you've done that with this layer selected let's add a transparent white let's, okay, once you've done that deselect it by using the shortcut key control D once you've done that let's select the text of this control click on the icon here and let's add another one here Once you've done that, deselect that again. Control D, and let's zoom back here, and let's add an add a filter to this. We'll be using fibers. So with this layer selected, go to filter, render fibers, and let the variance and strength be to default, which is 16 and 4. Press on OK. Once you've done that, let's change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. Yeah, that's fine. Looks like having some texture for the text here let's add a few shines to this text so let's create let's call this let's rename this to text texture and let's create another layer call it shine and using the pen tool we'll add some shines so make sure you have a pen tool selected and you have your paths checked on not the shape layers or the fill Make sure your pass is selected. Let's add some part of the shine here. Let's add a curve on this side. Using your Alt key, click on this point so that it offs the curve, which uh, the tangent which turns. Once you click on the other point, click here and let's select this point here. Control and click Alt click on the last point again. Once you have that, let's right click and click on Make Selection. Make sure your feather is set to 0 pixels so after you get this selection let's con alt click on control alt click on this layer so we get with your pen tool selected let's again make a curve on this side let's make a curve on this side with the pen tool selected uh, first let's select the PSD uh, out outline of the selection let's select the selection holding your uh, with the pen tool selected hold on your control key and click on the PSD so that we have a selection here and let's make a curve 
so we'll be actually using the pen tool to remove some se selection of this so let's click and drag here and let's make a curve somewhere like this and using alt key cl click on this point here we just created so that it removes that tangent there which helps us to not turn and let's click on this point here and again alt and click at the last point so that we don't get a turn once you've done that let's right click and select make selection which opens up the selection dialog make sure your feather is set to zero and choose subtract from the selection it, it what it does is it removes the selection which you just made with the path and leaves the remaining which you already selected here of the text psd so once you press ok it just cuts off the remaining part there so make sure your foreground is set to white using the shortcut key alt backspace fills in the foreground color and let's deselect that once you've done that let's add another shine for this layer here for this text i mean control click on your tutorials here so you have the selection using the pen tool again let's make another curve for this click and drag straight here alt click on the last point so we remove that tangent and then let's create this side and alt click again at the last point once you've done that let's do the same thing right click make selection and subtract from selection with zero feather pixels so once you're done ok you get that again and let's fill that with foreground color shortcut key for that is alt backspace and let's press ctrl d to deselect that and let's turn the opacity let's zoom back here let's turn the opacity to about the same layer make sure you create both the shines in the same layer once you've done that let's reduce the opacity to about 10 10 pixel 10 percent i mean let's increase that a bit and let's reduce that actually at around some 14 percent is okay so that's how we create a text based wallpaper it depends you could change your colors whichever you like so i hope you learned something from this and